Good morning, everybody. <laughs> We're here. Dunsverick Castle. So what we did is we got a Rambler bus ticket that allows us to get on and off the buses. These narrow little road walks are scary. <laughs> <laughs> so this works out the best, I think, for us, at least for today. Kind of heading towards Bally Patrick or Bally Valley Castle. Castle, I think. Um, but Dunsverick Castle, we're here. Let's go check it out. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> So to get up there, you take a pretty windy little roundabout path, which I think is the point. <laughs> you know, for uh, for Europeans, the castles probably are just like that, eh, whatever. But for Americans, there's a scarcity of castles on that that continent, I guess. And uh, whew, this is pretty sweet. climbing up and you can see there's like the, the stone right here and on top of it is built additional sort of an additional wall probably sort of the entrance here incredible just kind of built right in using the natural rocks and stuff Whew. Right on top, sort of circular shape. I don't know if it shows in the video so much, but I can kind of see just right here is a nice circular shape, sort of a little mound. Imagine probably some stones under there. Let's see what we got. Oh. <laughs> Go check out this tower part here. Oh, this chunk here is probably like the the main defense tower or something. Let's see. Oh yeah. Sort of the, it's like all the the local stones, same as the cliffs and stuff. So don't have to transport it far. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, you could pretty much hit anybody coming up here with anything you wanted to. What a spot. And here's the view from the, the point out in front of the tower. You can see down into the, sort of the little tidal pools out there and the beach here. Yeah, this is sweet. Oh, there's a gold flying. Bunch of nice little flowers up here. Awesome. And, uh, like the water they use mixed with these little stones. Little white pebbles and some of the black, some of the black crock here. <laughs> all in ruins and such but man i can just imagine back in the day i don't know how long ago but incredible i'm gonna head over to this side once and check out the view I don't mind the edges. 
when they're rocky. I can trust my footing. But this up here, it's just like grass and I don't know. I enjoy the thrill of heights and being on the edge when I've got a foot in it. And this, like here, look at this. So there's the rock. And you can see there's like an overhang of grass and dirt. And, uh, <laughs> and that is, uh, that's kind of frightening. I don't want to stand on this edge. Well, not too close, but wow. Dunsverrick Castle. Pretty amazing. Go away, you silly English kniggets. We've already got one. <laughs> <laughs>
Found a little cave. Didn't go very far. But pretty cool. <laughs> This is just a, a hypnotizing blend of rock and surf, grass, sheep, birds, like fantastic. They're all following mama. Spectacular. <laughs> and it looks like maybe Balan Toy is just ahead. Sun dance. <laughs> this was a uh, area Ballantoy was used for Game of Thrones for a couple different things. Uh, primarily everything with the Iron Islands with House Greyjoy, but they said it was also where, uh, on the beach where Melisandre. She burned, burned those the, guys. Those right? guys, yeah, yeah. Nice. I think they used a little bit of CGI though. Oh yeah, I think kind they do. Cut out some buildings and stuff. I think they do for all of it, just to, because <laughs> you got like Rourke's kitchen and stuff right there, <laughs> you know. Right. But, right. Yeah, Great Joy Harbor, I guess, everybody. What do you know? They burned people. Oh, that's the beach there? I believe so. That's the beach where they burned them, uh, Al Alessandra, or what was her name? Alessandra. Alessandra, yeah. yeah. She burned the uh, guys for the old gods. I wonder, did she sweep it up and throw it in the litter bin? I, I don't know. That's a good question. So as soon as you get up on top... It turns back into the Ireland that you see all the way to the coast. It's amazing transformation. Like it's just abrupt, just all of a sudden rock and surfing. And on top, soft and green. Making real good use of the Rambler Pass today. Hopped on the bus back in Ballantoy and uh, rode down now to Kiln Kinsbane. Kinsbane. <laughs> Car, almost. Uh, Kinsbane Castle is up here. And, oh yeah, Kinsbane Castle. Pretty much ruins, but this was built by a guy in like 1547. I don't remember the name. Uh, but the English came and uh, were just constantly like battling him here. And uh, ended up destroying the castle in like just three years later. And uh, so he rebuilt it again. And then he gave it to his son and his son gave it to his uncle. And then the uncle gave it to uh, McAllister family, I think. And they uh, were loyal to the uncle, which is why they got it. And uh, they had it for a while. Oh, nice. I think that's, uh, it's just right down here. There's some more stories too. The guy that built it, he died here. Uh, and uh, well, there's another little story, but I'll share it down there when I find the place. I'm a sucker for history, geology, plants, like, oh man. <laughs>
the name Kinsbane, it sounds kind of like, I don't know, it sounds kind of ominous. I don't know that that's a really great name, but I did learn that it comes from, uh, from the old, like the Gaelic word for white head. And uh, sort of referencing the white chalk limestone that it's built upon. And uh, we've seen that up and down the coast here. Awesome. And then, yeah. So right back in there, there's sort of a little holler there. And the story goes that the, uh, the English that were besieging this castle here had sort of taken refuge in there. And there was a whole, whole troop of them in there. And one night, the guys here from the castle, they, they went out up on top and they lit up a signal fire and kind of called some of their allies over. And they started rolling rocks down. Killed them all in there, just in one night. They were camped right here and uh, just got rocks rolled down upon them all. So the uh, guys that built this castle some pretty weak rock for uh, supporting structures. <laughs> Chalk and the uh, the volcanic chunks that were thrown out. Not very good for structural stuff, but wicked castle. like that see them all around there and there I think those were like for the beams supporting the floor above so you have like two-story tower here overlooking the only way only way in and that wind past like the main tower there, sort of the entrance tower, and then in here there's sort of some stone that you can see peeking out. I think that was like the main keep part, I guess, or whatever it would be called at that time. But there's one other feature heading out to the point here that I'd like to show you. I can see it from up above. From the land, there's no way in but the front door. Pretty easy to defend. But what about from the sea? Gotta be careful, it's pretty narrow here. Standing on, drops off on either side. rocky shoaly part up here was the bane to shipping and sailing in those days. I think a ton of ships. Oh man, this is the end. A ton of ships.
Here's the choke point. Undercut. <laughs> was Kinbane Castle. That looks like Bally Castle ahead. Kind of our next stop. Didn't look like uh, our 402 bus was coming this way for a while, so we decided to walk. Got some alpacas over there. We're leaving Bally Castle. And the, the wild camping options are a little slim up here, wouldn't you say, brother? Just a bit. A, a wee, wee bit. A, a wee bit. <laughs> yeah, a wee bit. So we've got a farm here. The farm. And the trench farm, trench farm. is the trench name. Farm. And they have pitches that you can let for a night, <laughs> I think. And uh, so we got one. It's kind of unique, I think. Uh, you don't really see much of this in the States, that's for sure. There's all sorts of little county campgrounds and state ones, and but not many personal ones. Yeah, not much in the way of state or county parks out here. It's personal stuff. We met the owner and his dog, Terry. Terry, and Terry Bell. was the man, and Bell was the dog, and uh, both friendly, friendly folk, I guess. So I'm curious to see what we got. So this is what you get get a nice pitch that's probably 30 by 30 there's a wonderful uh, bathrooms up there showers like dish facility it's spick and span so it's not wild camping sometimes you just gotta compromise and go with what you can get so short of walking another seven or eight miles I think uh, I think this will do I'm gonna set up right here. <laughs> what time is it, Sunday? It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. This is crazy. Kinda of chilly and windy out there though, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah.